I have not taken any of my stuff yet. I'm about to do that really quick. I have put basically a whole can of dry shampoo in my hair. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Take my pills real quick. So, my... so, if I'm not answering you, it's because I literally have 30 minutes. And I'm not exaggerating. I have to leave my house by... <laughs> my house by 2 30 get the kids from school <clears throat> let me check my alarms real quick i have an alarm at two o'clock i had to make sure that wasn't on and was gonna mess my video up how's everybody doing hey aunt tina how is everybody's what is today thursday going ain't it thursday I don't even know what day it is. I severely need to re-self tan. I told myself I was going to scrub all my old tan off. Did I do it? Nope. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Lacey. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Beth. Hey, Patsy. Hey, Brent. Hey, Brittany. How is everybody? Oh, dang. Where's my wedding bands? Crap. Well, I guess I'll have to go grab those after I'm done. I don't know what I did with them. Probably took them off before I got in the bed. I mean, bath. I can't... Is anybody else like that? I can't wear... Um, I can't wear jewelry like when I wash, like wash my hands or I don't know. It like gives me the ick. Hey, Amanda. You're in the airport, Hannah? I hate the airport. Do some rose water. Man, that feels good. Do some eye cream. Look at this huge magnesium peel. These help. If you have never taken magnesium, try it. Joni, I do the Loving Tan, and I just ordered some more. Um, they have Loving Tan has a rose collection now. Y'all know I'm obsessed with rose water. So, I'm excited to try a sunless tanner that has rose water infused into it. It's called the Rose Loving Tan. Um, and they do have it in the 2-Hour Express, which is what I really like. But they don't have the ultra dark. They just have the dark. So, I've never tried the dark. I don't think. Maybe I have. Hey, Regina. Do you have a tra bring a travel disinfectant wipe on the airplane? I don't. No, I don't ever think of that. That's a good idea, though. Um, airplanes and airports make me so anxious that, like, I actually feel sick. Anytime I have to fly somewhere, what is on my phone? Anytime I have to fly somewhere, like, I end up almost feeling like I have, like, a stomach bug. That's how much my anxiety, like, shoots up. It is terrible. Magnesium really helps with my headaches, but look it up. Magnesium helps with all kinds of things. Like, I don't even know off the top of my head. I'm going to do some of this hottie lip plumper with some of this lip mask. I need to get me some more of this lip mask. This thing's all empty. That's Charlotte, y'all. Making all these weird noises. Courtney, the necklace with names on it is from the Sis Kiss. If you want to uh, message me, I can send you the link. Okay, I'm going to do some of the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. Um, we have cheer today, so I definitely need my SPF. I need to go check my P.O. box when I go get the kids from school. Um, and I do have a P.O. box haul that I have not done yet that I'm going to do with you guys as soon as I get back from picking the kids up from school. So... P.O. Box haul coming. And I wanted to make this pasta, pasta stuff tonight. But um, I don't know if you guys watch my grocery haul. But I got that pasta that um, you get like out of the cold section. It's not the frozen section. But it's the cold section. 
and Devin was helping me put groceries up because I was trying to do that grocery haul in the midst of unloading groceries. And um, he put that pasta, <laughs> he put that pasta that was supposed to be cold in the pantry. So I had to throw it away. So now I don't know what I'm making. I was like, really, dude? I finally like prepare and plan ahead and you gonna put my pasta that's supposed to be cold in the pantry? But he thought it was just like dry noodles. So, in his defense, he was just trying to help. <laughs> hey, Alyssa. Hey, Tori. Hey, Shayna. Hey, Heather. Yeah, I was kind of annoyed, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, and again, I forgot to grab a napkin. I'm gonna go in with this Elf Halo Glow liquid filter in the shade 4. If you have not tried this yet, this is a really good product. And it's lasted me pretty good. This is a pretty good container. Like, pretty big container. Yeah, the Tortellini. And I think I've had it before. It's just been a while. Okay, I'm going to do some of the Unique Serum Plus Foundation. This is in the shade Eyelet. This is the liquid foundation that has the skincare built in. I love it. This is pretty much the only foundation I use. I'm obsessed with it. And it's on sale, so let me know if you guys want to be shade matched. Look at that. It's so, like, nourishing feeling. The coverage is really good. It blends in really well. The only reason that I mix that e.l.f. Halo Glow with it is because... Ours doesn't have a glow, and I really like the glow. So, if you're not into glow, definitely don't mix that e.l.f. Halo Glow in it. Um, and it's not, it's like that perfect in-between finish. It's not a matte, and it's not a dewy. It's like that pretty satin. I love it. I really, really need to self-tan. Hey, Leslie. Charlotte. What do you got? I'm just blending it in with our Kabuki brush. This is also on sale this month. And then I just like to take my beauty blender and just kind of press it all in. This is going to press it all in. It's going to pick up any um, excess. So, so good. Put it on my lip. Okay. I'm trying to think. I thought there was something else I was supposed to do today. I don't know. I feel like every week I always have all these appointments. And this week I haven't had a lot of appointments. So now I feel like I'm forgetting something. Do y'all ever do that? You're like, okay, this week's going a little too smooth. What am I missing? Okay, I'm just going to spray my beauty blender with rose water to blend in this concealer. Hey, Dana. What did I do before I was a content creator? I worked at a bank. Most of my working career has been banking. I did go to beauty school though. Um, I have my degree, diploma, certificate, whatever you call it, in master cosmetology. Um, but I wasn't a cosmetologist very long. <laughs> I did not like that at all. I don't like doing people's hair. And I don't really like doing other people's makeup either. I only like doing my own. I don't like to have to please people. So. I learned that really quick. Really? TikTok is a lot slower than Facebook? Is it blurry though? This is the Skin Solution Concealer from Unique in the shade Scarlet. This is also on sale. This is phenomenal. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Gracie. Oh, I got a big old eyelash on my beauty blender. Oh, of course, Robin. I'm glad you're here.
Thank you for the gifts, y'all. I appreciate it. Man, it's sunny and beautiful. I haven't even been outside except for this morning when I took the kids to school. Oh, when I took Summer to school. Dirk rides to school with his friend, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lisa. I do lip injections, yeah. Well, I get lip injections. And I like to also put some there. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Madeline. Hey, Shannon. Yeah, I wish my lips were like this naturally. That'd be great. Save me a lot of money. <laughs> I just recently started doing Botox and filler, though. I haven't been doing it for a long time. I was really scared to get um, Botox and filler. I didn't want to look plastic. I didn't want to look fake. And I was really scared about the pain. So, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Because I am a baby when it comes to pain. You hear me? Okay, I'm going to do Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Setting Powder. Um, camera angle seems off. So, I have a new setup. And I have two phone holders. Because, obviously, I go live on two phones. So, the angle is probably going to seem different. <laughs> My video was lot was right about this live. What? What video? Kristen, my big ring is from Lavender Blue. I have a link and discount code for them in my bio. I love Lavender Blue. They've got the prettiest rings. All my rings are from them, except for my wedding band, of course. Hey, Kaden. Okay, I have 24 minutes. Holy hell. We're definitely going to do something quick and simple on the eyes. How long does the detox last? What detox? Yeah, Victoria, do it. It'll make you feel better. Bailey, are you talking about the lip flip? Um, I'm going to do some of the unique pressed powder foundation in the shade Taffeta set the, to set the rest of my face. Thank you so much, girl. Yeah, I think so, too. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Amanda. I think Reagan does a little bit of Botox on my top lip. I go for my checkup for my face filler next Thursday in a week. And I think I'm going to get a little bit more in my top lip. Some filler. I just want my top lip a little bit more full. I feel like my bottom lip is more full than my top lip. So, I think I'm just going to zhuzh that up a little bit. Not a lot. And I feel like a little bit goes a long way in your lips. Like, don't think you have to go. The first time I got my lips done, like, if you're thinking about doing it, y'all, my tan is so busted on my neck. It is bad. If you're thinking about going and getting lip filler, don't think you have to go and get a whole syringe. Like, just go and get a half. See how you like it. And then go get more if you want. That's what I did. I didn't go and get no whole syringe. and Because, like I said, I was scared. I didn't want my lips to look fake. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to look. I didn't want to go from nothing to, like, these big old lips. <laughs> and I think that helps when you kind of, you know, do it in moderation. Okay, I'm going to do bronzer. I'm going to do the Unique Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. And I'm going to mix it with highlighter in the shade Bronze. Both of these are also on sale. So is that pressed powder I just used. So let me know if you guys want to be shade matched. Yes, they are. 
Victoria said, these pressed powders are amazing, saw velvety finish. That is the perfect way to describe it. A velvety finish. I never thought to describe it like that. And that is so true. It's like velvet. I love it. And it makes my skin so soft. It has the shea butter in it. I love it. And I love this bronzer. Um, how do I make my iced coffee? I do like half um, Starbucks cold iced coffee that you buy that's already made from the grocery store. And then I fill the rest up with some Premier Protein. I really like the peanut butter chocolate Premier Protein. That's my favorite one to mix in it. The cake batter one's also really good in it and the caramel. Those are like my three go-tos to mix in my coffee. I seen somebody the other day though that did some Fairlife chocolate milk in their iced coffee. I was like, ooh, that's a really good idea. So I'm going to try that because I love Fairlife because I'm lactose intolerant. That's probably the only thing I don't like about Premier Protein is it does have, you know, milk in it. And it does kind of hurt my stomach sometimes. It just depends. Sometimes, some days it doesn't hurt my stomach and some days it does. So, I don't really know what's up with that. But, do y'all see how this side, like this side of my face is still healing from my filler? I'm ready for that to heal completely. It's getting my nerves. Okay, I'm going to take my um, eyeshadow blending brush and bronze up this nose. If y'all hear something licking, it's Charlotte. <laughs> She's like over here giving herself a full-blown bath. I think Charlotte's stitches are really starting to bother her. I think she, um, I think it's about time for her stitches to come out. Because I keep seeing her, like, lick on them or, like, nibble on them. You know how, like, how it feels like when things get dry? Thank you. How long does my tan last? It lasts pretty good. Especially, um, because I don't even hardly moisturize. But I did order me some of the Loving Tan, um... Rose, it's that new Rose line that they have. I ordered some of the moisturizer from there that's supposed to help your tan last. It's like the extender, blah, 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 something. Thank you so much, Eden. I appreciate it, girl. Okay, I'm going to do two shades of blush from Unique. I'm going to mix Sweet and Supple. These are also on sale. Oh, thank you, Madison. I appreciate that, girl. You guys are loving the red hair, which really surprised me. I thought I was going to get a lot of shit about my red hair. I thought all my followers were going to be so upset with me. Because you guys are so used to me being blonde. But I really needed a change. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my blonde hair. But I was just ready to see something else. Do y'all ever feel like that? Like, dang. I needed a good change for fall. I mean, I like a lot of blush. Sue me. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to mix two highlighters. I'm going to mix blushing and golding. Golden, not golding. Golden. Y'all know what I mean. Whew, I got 15 minutes. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. You were hoping I was the only influencer that's never had Botox? Well, I mean, Ashton, I could just lie and say that I haven't. <laughs> I mean, not just influencers, but most women my age... I'm going to be 35 this year, have had Botox. So, you're not going to make me feel bad about it. <laughs> I'm totally, completely honest about anything that I do. 
It's not like I'm getting on here trying to act like I don't have any kind of Botox or filler. So, have a good day. Go troll somebody else because today's not the day. And I'm not in the mood. Y'all, there's always somebody that's got to have something to say. And it doesn't affect you at all. I would understand if I got on here and lied about it and you guys caught me in a lie or something. I'm completely transparent. I'm very honest and I'm very genuine when I get on here. So, if me getting Botox bothers you, you probably want to unfollow me. Because <laughs> I'm definitely not going to stop. <laughs> hey, Karen. Hey, Dawn. Oh, shit. I hope I didn't just break my highlighter. Oh, I didn't. Okay, good. I cannot stand a broken highlighter. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Haley. Mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook, too. Yeah, Devin really likes the red. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Touch Behold Prime and Set Mist. Man, that just pissed me off. I probably shouldn't have went live today. Because I feel very sassy. Cheyenne, it's just like, oh man. You know, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. If I got on here and I was all natural and didn't have uh, fillers or Botox, y'all would say that I, not y'all, but people would say I looked old. I was washed up. I had deep lines. People would make fun of me for that. But I get Botox and filler because I want to. God forbid me do something to make myself feel better. And then there's somebody that has a problem with that. So, moral of the story, do what you want to do. <laughs> and don't do it for anybody else. Do it for you. Because life's too short. And, yeah. Yeah. Your happiness matters. And make sure you're doing some form of self-care, whatever that may look like. I'm not saying that has to be Botox or filler. That could mean going and getting you an ice crispy Coke and sitting in your car and drinking it by yourself. Whatever self-care looks like to you, do that and do not apologize for it because you deserve it. Jennifer, message me. I could see the link. Y'all, uh, okay, moving on. The nerve that some people have when they get on here is unreal. And y'all, that's not even bad. Like, seriously. Y'all should see some of the things that come in my inbox. Sometimes I have to really, like, take a step back. Because people are absolutely insane. And this eyebrow is going to be the end of me. Because it drives me absolutely insane. Like, I don't even know what to do with it anymore. So, I guess I'm just going to keep scribbling on it. <laughs> and make it look even worse. And then try to clean it up with concealer. Like, I don't I don't know what else to do. I, ha I made it really fat yesterday. And I hated the way this eyebrow looked yesterday. I was like, what did I do? Okay, that looks awful. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll clean it up with some concealer. It'll be better. <laughs> I hope. <clears throat> and then people, like, get on here and be really ugly to me, and then they act like they don't know why I'm aggravated. Whatever. 
Okay, um, I'm going to do the Grande Brown 201 Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Light. I haven't ate either, and I'm extremely hangry, so I'm not with the bullshit today. And I'm surprised I'm so hungry because me and Devin went, y'all, look at how screwed up my eyebrow is right there. Oh, my God, where's the concealer? Okay, I'm going to use that same concealer that I used on my T-zone to brighten to try to clean this thing up because holy moly, I got the angry bird brow again. We are definitely going to do that one first. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? I don't even know if concealer is going to help this. What is going on over here? No, that didn't help it. That didn't help it at all. <laughs> what is wrong with it? What did I do? Why does it look like that? Oh my God, probably because that chick pissed me off. No, there was no misunderstanding. Like, she literally got on my live and said... Her exact words were, I was hoping that you were one of the only influencers that didn't get Botox. Guess I was wrong. There's no way to, like, confuse that. That was rude. So, but it's okay. I'm moving on. Like I said, I don't have the time or energy. That's a little bit better. Like, how is that not rude, though? <laughs> How was she trying not to be rude with that? I mean. Oh, thank you. Hey, Terry. Hey, Angelica. I'm not saying nobody go for an attacker or nothing. I'm just saying that that pissed me off. And I don't appreciate it, but I mean, it is what it is. Like, I'm not gonna block her or nothing for it. Which, on most days, I probably would, honestly. So. Thank you, Maddie. Yeah, Tori, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, eyes. I'm just gonna do something quick, quick, quick. I've literally got nine minutes. I'm just gonna use this Unique Moodstruck Addiction Palette 10. Thank you, Megan. Yeah, I don't, I ain't got time for that. And I ain't got time to be uh, reading between the lines either. Like I just, there that was uncalled for. But okay. I mean, I'm over it now, but I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. People are so mean to people on the internet that they don't even know. And you could be thinking that, hey, you can't help what you think. Maybe you don't like Botox. Maybe you don't agree with that. I can respect that. But what gives you the right to get on my live and tell me anything about anything? I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. And I don't do it for nobody else. I do it for me. Just like anybody should. Like, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. I completely respect that. If you do want to do it, do it. It's a personal choice. It's not... <laughs> I don't know. That just really bothers me when people are ugly for no reason. Like, it's just so uncalled for. But, I mean, you know, life goes on. Thank you, Ashley. 
you have to do your brow. Yeah. I've never been the type to do my brows before my base. I've never been able to do that. I think it's because, like, I don't really carve my brows out up top. I feel like anytime I try to do that, I mess it up. So, I end up looking crazy. And it's hard for me to do my makeup around my brows. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to take my fluffy crease brush. And I'm going to go into a little bit of that same brown. And then some of this darker brown. And I'm just going to tap this on the outside. Just to give me a little bit more depth. Got some fallout. Oh my gosh. Like a big eyelash. It didn't want to come off. I don't know what the reason is. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, I'm going to go in with my brow artist brush, and I'm going to go into that dark brown. Y'all know I like to do me a little smoky smoke here on the end. Thank you, guys. Okay, I need like a little moment. Okay. And then I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going to go into that light brown. And give her a little smoke. Okay, and then I'm going to tight line with my pencil eyeliner from Unique in the shade Proper. It's that pretty chocolatey brown. Exactly, Tony. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm very sassy today, but damn. Person can only handle so much. Okay, I'm going to do the Wet n Wild Mother of Pearl stick. Y'all know I like to pop her right here. Hey, Carrie. Curl these lashes. I think what makes me so mad is I'm so open and honest about everything that I do because I never want to seem like I'm trying to be something that I'm not. I would never want, like, because I promote beauty products and skincare. So, I feel like it's very important for me to be open and honest about Botox and filler. Because I would never get on here and say that it's 100% my beauty products. Like, that is a lie. I would never do that. So, I'm so vulnerable on here and I'm so open and honest. So, when people come for me about that, it just hits different. Because I'm like, you know... I could come on here because that's my business that I get Botox and filler. I do not have to get on here and tell anybody about that. <laughs> you know, like if I didn't tell y'all, y'all would have no idea. But I choose to be open and honest with my followers. I want to be open and honest and genuine. 
that's the type of person that I am. So when somebody like tries to make me feel bad for it, I'm just like, seriously? This is the new Quadra Mascara. I promise y'all you need it. It is phenomenal. It has completely changed my lashes. Okay, I've got one minute. <laughs> Let's put some on the bottom. I've been hearing a lot of people complain about um, TikTok's lives. I don't think it's just mine. I think TikTok in general has been having some live issues. Because I've had a lot of people tell me that it's not just my lives on TikTok. Thank you. Girl, I do not know. But I guess it's a problem for some people. Thank you. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Shayla. You like my earrings? Thank you. They're from Lavender Blue. I like them. They're just like the perfect little classic hoop. And they're a good size. They're not so big that they're like bulky and they hurt my ear. But they're big enough that you can see. Do y'all ever wear an earring and, like, you can't wait to get home and take them off? I can't stand that. I don't like heavy, bulky earrings. Okay, so I'm about to have to go, y'all. Um, but if you want the link to anything, just send me a message. Like I said, we have our monthly sale going on right now where I can build bundles for people. I can do a foundation, a concealer, or pressed powder, bronzer, blush, highlight. I can do any of those three or more in a bundle and save you some money. Um, and it also includes this new mascara. So most people have been getting me to do foundation, um, concealer, pressed powder with this mascara. That's the um, most common bundle that I've been building for people. Um, our face brushes are also included in that. So that Kabuki brush, is definitely a must-have. Um, even if you already have makeup you love, but you're in the market for some good face brushes, I can build you a brush bundle. So, let me know. The Kabuki brush that I use is on sale. The brush that I use to apply my setting powder. Um, the brush that I use to apply my highlighter is on sale. Hey, Patty. I have an Aunt Patty. And she's the sweetest thing ever. But this mascara is good for six months, y'all. It's a primer, lash serum, fiber, tubing mascara. It's sweat resistant, smudge proof. It's like better than waterproof. It's amazing. It's been growing my lashes. I love it so, so, so much. And everybody that's got it got it from me has, has loved it. So, everything comes with a love it guarantee. And I think we're just going to uh, rock the lip mask because I really got to go. Normally, I would do the darker pressed powder, but I just don't have time for that today. But this is what we're looking like. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. I really need to recurl my hair. It's looking crazy. Um, let me know if you guys need links to anything. Let me know if you need to be shade matched. Just send me a message. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.